Hi guys, so today I'm gonna go to the thrift store. I'm planning to go to like three or four different types. I asked you guys to send me some photos of outfits. I'm gonna try to recreate them and let's see how it goes. A lot of these photos that you guys sent me had off the shoulder tops, pleated skirts, uh, mini skirts, sweaters. I also hope to find random good finds. I've been really, really wanting like a slouchy oversized off the shoulder sweater. Hopefully I could find that and I also really want like a short pleated skirt but with like a plaid detail This is how I typically dress when I go to the thrift store I like to wear tank tops so that I could just Try on clothes over them because some thrift stores in LA don't have fitting rooms So I like to put the clothes over the tank top and then underneath my sweats. I have like these short pants so that i could take my sweats off and then wear skirts or pants over them to see if they fit i'm also going to go to a consignment store called crossroads but for sure they have fitting rooms there first stop is society of saint vincent los angeles thrift store this store was really big the prices were kind of expensive look at this that's like 45 dollars and that top kind of looks like the top that I showed you in the beginning as well as this one. These tops were so 2000s. Look at that. I had to put them in my cart. And then I also put this skirt in my cart as well because look how cute and short it is. And y'all, this dress is a nightmare. Also, I'm still in love with that 90s 2000s office core, so I like the blazer. And look at this top from earlier. It's super cute, but sadly it had a hole in the back. Oh my gosh. After shopping for an hour and a half, the store was closing, so I had to leave right next to that thrift store there was goodwill so i checked that out they didn't have much so i left and went to crossroads and crossroads is a consignment store you can find designer things here and the items are usually in better shape trendier and more expensive you can come here to sell your clothes shoes etc but they'll only take it if they think it'll sell for them so don't bring junk i like how organized this place is they have sections that tell you where the new arrivals are and clothes that are trending at the moment they also have designer sections and they also have a section where the stuff Staff picks their favorite pieces. I also like how the pieces are organized by color, sizes, and type of clothing pieces they are. This is the first thing that I picked out and it's so cute. It's like a vintage BB shirt, but I was debating on getting it because it was $28 and there was a slight hole. This was another top, it looked boxy, so obviously I didn't get it. This one looked cuter on the rag, not on me, but it was like punk rock-ish. This was the Nike windbreaker that I actually really, really liked. Y'all, my favorite color is pink, but I have nothing in my closet that's pink. And this reminded me of Mean Girls when they all wore the same color, but it was kind of expensive, so I had to pass. This was a very, very cute sweater, and I thought it would look cute with like a button up inside with a like a pleated skirt, but it was also expensive. I might go back and get it though. The next outfit, I was trying to recreate this one on the right. Um, it was just a vest and some jeans. I always wanted to know how I looked in a vest and I don't look very good. I was shopping for a while so all the thrift stores were closing so I had to just go to Chipotle and grab something to eat. I also grabbed Jeremy something. Um, I always get the same thing when I go here and I always get the tortilla and the salad dressing on the side because it's so good. And no one asked, maybe some of you guys are curious, but my chipotle order is a chicken bowl with white rice, no beans, grilled veggies, pico de gallo, corn, both the red and green salsa, a good amount of sour cream, cheese, and lots of lettuce. And I don't know if it's the Korean in me, but I love to wrap my rice in whatever, like a sam. Hello. Esther just cooked us this delicious meal. Let me see what it tastes like. Mm. I really like how you made it feel like we got it from a restaurant. I love the attention to detail. Mmm. This is so good that you should start a restaurant. I can see you selling this. What should I call it then? Beef bowls. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. How was your day? My day was good. Lots of work. Okay. Are you ain't gonna ask me how my day was? Oh. Damn, what's wrong with you? I'm sorry, I was chewing. How was your day? Yeah, it was good. What'd you Lots do? Lots of work. Oh, nice. After the thrift store, I went to Walgreens and I bought a couple of products. I got some concealer and it was so cheap. You know, Wet n Wild is probably the most affordable makeup. I got the blush. I got something called Pulling Hydra Deep Puffer for Eye and Face. 
this is like a under eye i don't really i don't really know what it is but i think it's like an under eye balm and it, there's caffeine in it and you guys know how i dislike my under eye circles so i'm praying that this works almost every wet and wild product is under ten dollars which is crazy and this is also vegan oh actually whoa you guys i put it on the back of my hand and it's super like coolie I'm gonna do a little bit because I have to put makeup on and I know that sometimes when I put products it creases and I'm gonna dude it's like really cooling actually there's caffeine vitamin E green tea oil and hyaluronic acid and if you guys have watched my makeup tutorial you guys know that I use this Dior blush I bought this when it went viral and to be honest this blush is not that good it's very powdery it's powdery meaning like it's very patchy it's not smooth at all this i think this was like five bucks so i got this in the shade naked brown so it's like kind of like a brown orangey color but i've never had a blush like that so i want to try and then i got this concealer i'm not sure if this is my shade it kind of looks dark but this is all they had this is medium neutral it says that it's all day full coverage and i heard good things about it i tend to crease a lot under my eyes so hopefully that works I just blended the under eye and honestly it looks really really good I am impressed I think this concealer was five dollars as well five six dollars I'm putting it on the other parts of my face I think that I did pretty well with the color match also I kind of changed my technique in blending my concealers and I used to use this like a more fluffier brush but now I'm using this a flat concealer brush and honestly this has been covering way more one thing I'm realizing about this concealer is that it dries pretty quick but not in a bad way where you can't blend it out you can still blend it out pretty well it dries like a little tacky so the coverage is really good I don't know if I'm tripping but I like this way better than my NARS creamy concealer it is blending so seamlessly when I put my NARS concealer on like it kind of moves around a lot uh, maybe it's way too creamy, but this one is stays in its place, which I can appreciate so far I'm loving everything now. It's time to try the blush. This is the brush. I always use it's like a very light and feathery brush Let's see how pigmented. Okay. First of all, it's very powdery Can you see that? I like the shade I'm gonna say it's nothing too special Okay, actually the color is very nice. I like this color. I don't know if you guys can tell here. I'm gonna kind of put a lot for you guys to see. It blends in nicely. Okay, I have nothing bad to say about Wet n Wild products because it's so cheap and it's vegan. I like all three. You really can't beat the prices. I mean, there's another brand named Essence, I think, that's pretty cheap as well. But Wet n Wild, oh my goodness. I love every single thing I bought. And I think the total was less than 20 bucks i think i went to three different places and this is the first one i got this vintage dress this one's from banana republic petite and this one was 15.99 this is like a regular shirt but then with like a tie like it ties in the front and it's really good quality it's by ellen tracy and then i found this blazer this is like 2000s and i think this is vintage forever 21 i'm not sure but this was 9.99 and then they had a sale for yellow tags i think it was 25 percent off and then i found this one it's from max studios it's that top except like this is not the color that i wish it, w it came in but it's a thrift store you know what i mean so it's one of those like colored uh, shirts and sweater combo and this one didn't have a tag but the lady gave it to me for 5.99 this one is just a plain like quarter sleeve shirt i thought it would be a good basic to have this one was 9.99 and then i found it y'all an oversized off the shoulder it's not a top but it's a dress but i think i can make it into a top just by tucking it in and also wear it as a dress i'll show you guys how everything looks on in a little bit and the total for this place was $47.55 this is the first outfit 
I already had a pleated skirt, so I just paired it with that. Is this my color? No, but is it cute? I think I can work with it. It's a little tight though. This is an X small. This is the oversized dress. You can wear it as a top or a dress. I really like this. The only thing is, is that this material is kind of like sparkly. I don't know if you can tell. Can you tell? But anyways, I love this. This is perfect. This is the sweater as a dress. I would not wear it with this belt, but I'm just trying to show you guys how it would look. And then I could also wear it with slacks. What do you guys think? You guys, I actually love this shirt with the tie. It looks super sleek and chic. And I don't know what I would wear with this. This pleated skirt, it, it doesn't look bad. If I dress it up with some accessories and some nice shoes. What would you guys pair this shirt with though? I also like this blazer. It's super like 2000s, maybe even 90s. What do you guys think? And then here's the three fourth sleeve, like plain top with the skirt. This is the dress. It's kind of short for a Banana Republic dress. Usually they do like longer office wear. Probably will give it to one of my friends or something. Okay, now the second place I went was a Goodwill. I bought one thing only and it's kind of like this romper jumpsuit. I don't know, it's like 2000s, you know? This was $5.99. And then the last thrift store, I only bought one thing as well. It's that Nike jacket that I tried on. And this was $24. This one was at Crossroads. This is gonna go to my brother, but look how cute it is with this skirt. Okay, this is the last piece. This is the jumpsuit. Super, super short. There's like a waistband like right here. And there's pockets. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials, Kanye Wester. Please comment down below what you want to see next. I'm going to do more mukbangs and stuff like that. So let me know what I should eat. Love you.